the fire season starts, we have a staggered start where we bring air tankers on. So each contract would be an air tanker plus the bird dock. Those two go out as a group, it's yeah. called. So there's a, an air crew that goes out with that. There's a ground crew that does the maintenance work, etc. And then they're supported, they're based at a tanker base or they may be transferred around the province, etc. depending where the fire risk is. What that aircraft is doing is what's called building line. So the, the red liquid is a retardant. So that slows down the progress of the fire build and it allows the, uh, the ground crews to go in and effectively manage uh, you know, the safe putting out of the fires. I mean, the guys on the ground do the hardest, most difficult job in terms of putting fires out. We work very closely with Alberta Forestry, we work very closely with uh, British Columbia and the Yukon, etc. All the agencies we work with here in Canada and in the US to ensure that we're giving them what they want when they want it, kind of. It's an interesting business. It, I mean, when the big events happen, when you have the big fires and you, you get the media interest and things like that, you know, the focus and attention comes on you. Uh, in some senses, you know, people don't like to think about us because it's not something that anyone really wants in their lives to be um, caught up in a, a, a forest fire like this. But from our point of view, it's an exciting industry. If you meet the people that work for us, they're all very dedicated to the task of putting out fires. I mean, it's not, it's not a dangerous profession. There are dangers about it. And that's why you know, we train very hard around how we maintain the aircraft, how we operate the aircraft, to ensure that we have you know, as much safety and, and proper prior planning of the operations, quite frankly.